Hello, welcome to Let's Go Farming, the first episode of season two. My name is Mutinta Nyanga and we are in the fields of rice. The Mungo rice, of course, you guessed right, we are in Western province and we'll be joined by two people who's going to tell us on what rice is all about. We're going to have the expert from means of agriculture and also a farmer. So stay tuned as we join them. Hello, welcome to Let's Go Farming. My name is Abwadaka Ponda. I work for Zambia Agricultural Research Institute, Mongo Research Station. I work as the Agricultural Research Officer. Uh, in Mongo, Mongo Research Station, we have quite a number of uh, rice research activities that we are doing. We are, we are involved in uh, carrying out experiment in the development of uh, new farming technologies which are appropriate for the farmers uh, for them in order for them to attain the highest yield. We are also involved in the production of uh, rice seed, that is from uh, development of uh, good varieties that are of good qualities. We are also involved in the purification of um, the rice seed for the farmers. Coming to the variety that we are developing, we are developing the varieties like Nerica 4. This is, this, this is the, one of the upland rice that is the... Uh, that, that, that is tolerant to most of the drought, drought conditions and other abiotic conditions. The Nerica 4 has got a lot of advantages in, in, the, in the sense that uh, it's a high yielding variety, it uh, tillers well, and it's able to withstand even some of the effects of climate change. Apart from the upland rice varieties, we are also involved in the production of uh, pad rice, that is seed specifically. We are working on the uh, maintenance of the pure lines. We are also working on the production of the foundation seed. The foundation seed is the seed that we are giving to the farmers in order for us to produce the quality seed because it's the seed that has been, uh, that of which the quality has been maintained by the the researchers from Zambia Agricultural Research Institute. Also of the section, which is the farming system in Zambia, in Mongo Research Station, the, the section is also involved in the dissemination of the, the new technology that are being developed by the rice researchers in Mongo. We are working through the camp extension officers in order for, for the technologies to reach the farmers. So, uh, apart from that, we are also collaborating with the other stakeholders like seed companies who are working with AfriSeed in terms of uh, information sharing and the other activities. Um, coming to the farmers, we are developing technology. For example, most of the farmers have been practicing the poor planting methods of broadcasting rice, broadcasting of rice. But with us, we are, we, are, we are training them to say, when you compare broadcasting and transplanting, you are able to attain the higher yields from the transplanting of rice. Uh, for example, previously, the farmers used to harvest about 1.2 tons per hectare, but through the, the, the adoption of transplanting methods, they are able to harvest about 3 tons and above per hectare. We also have other activities on plant protection. As you may be aware, climate change has brought up a lot of issues. For example, there are new emerging diseases. We have the notorious disease, which is rice brust. So we are training the farmers on how to manage the, how to control this disease because the disease is able to wipe up about uh, up to 90% a loss of the crop if not well controlled. We have a lot of varieties. We have Super MG, that is paddy. We have, uh, I've mentioned Nerica 1, we also have Nerica 4. Right now we are working on, um, we, we are about to release other new varieties. We have uh, Nene and uh, Saro that we are working on. They are still under, under the trials. Just to encourage the farmers in Western province, we are, we are encouraging them to, in case they, they have any challenge in terms of rice production, we encourage them to visit the expert for rice in, at Mongo Zari Research Station. And we also encourage farmers not to use the contaminated seed before they plant any rice seed. We encourage them to confirm from the, from the rice researchers whether the seed that they want to plant is of good quality or not of good quality. Because quality will compromise on the yield and the other managerial aspects of the, the, the crop itself. As a, just to conclude, let me hand you over to Mr. Tembo Jefferson, who is one of the farmers for rice here in Mongu district. Uh, 
All right, we're now joined by Mr. Tembo. How are you, sir? Welcome to Let's Go Farming. Uh, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. I understand there are different types of uh, of, uh, of of the rice that you grow. Sure, they, they are a, quite a wide range of, of varieties of rice. Mm -hmm. But Western Province, being uh, you know, is uh, the major part of it is actually the the flat plains. Mm -hmm. So we, here we do most is the the paddy rice, okay. the one which is grown, uh, which requires a lot of water. Okay. Sure. All right. So since you're the expert, you're going to leave uh, you to eat. Show us on how to grow rice. Sure. All right. Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, the first thing is a seed selection when you want to do rice production. I'm sure I mentioned to say the common uh, rice that we grow here in Western Province is the paddy rice. It's a super MG variety. As you can see, this is a seed here. It's not really contaminated. It's a pure mungo rice. And it's uh, actually produced locally just here by the Farm Institute. So after you've selected the seed, we we'll go now into we use, there are many methods of uh, planting the, what, the nurseries. So we, we do the, the drilling, we, use, we do some lines, then we, we do the planting of the nursery. So let me just show you how we go about the, the planting of the, what, the, the land preparation for the rice production. The land prep, we see, there's nothing so special, like anything different from any other land uh, necessary germination or necessary preparation. It's just making a fine tooth, make it proper for, to make it easy for the rice to easily germinate. So this is how we do it. This method we use line planting. So this is how we do it. We just shift, we tie a rope. <coughs> then after you've made the final tooth, eh, you now make a straight line following the rope. So yeah. So the next thing after making some some lines like this, my, by the way, the spacing it should be 30 centimeters. It shouldn't be too deep. Uh, it's supposed to be at least a depth of. Uh, between five and ten centimeters, centimeters. So this is how we go about the the planting. You just get a handful, then you start moving like this. You continue. So once you're done, the next thing is just to bury. Again, you have to be mindful when burying. You shouldn't bury like with a lot of a lot of soil on, it, on top for easy germination. So you just do, just cover a bit on top with the soil. If at all you have a rake, you can use a rake. If it's not available, then you even use your hands, like the way I'm doing like this. Make sure you cover the seed. Because here on the plains, there, there are a lot of birds which come. If you, you don't nicely cover your seed, everything will be gone. The birds will fit. The best time to do this activity see, should be early in the morning or later in the evening. Like that. So this is how we do it. Viewers, we, uh, you've seen, I'm sure, how we do the planting. Yeah. All oh, what is required when setting up your nursery, you have to make sure that you are setting up your nursery where there is at least some a good uh, composition of loam 
loam to clay like here in western province my trees advantage there is no need for irrigation since uh, i'm doing it on the flood plains and uh, the moisture levels are, are just okay for crop uh, water germination so from here we are going to move to the next stage here we plant uh, rice in stages for the farm institute so from here i'm going to show you the next stage when it's, uh, it has germinated Welcome to our second stage, viewers. Uh, so, like I mentioned, when it germinates, after the, the five to seven days that I mentioned, the, the rice will start looking like this, a week plus. It will like, look like this. You've seen the 30, 30 centimeters that we measured is coming out like clearly. Yeah, why? Somebody might ask, uh, why are we maintaining the 30 centimeters and uh, not just uh, planting next line to the other? Yeah, basically it's just to, just to, for easy management of the crop, the weeding part, uh, which is the most critical. As you may be aware, the rice is a, is a grass, and the type of weeds that uh, which grows in rice is uh, almost similar to the rice crop. So the, from the 30 centimeter spacing, it's easy to move around and do the weeding. Yeah, so in a, from this stage, in a, what, three weeks, then this rice will be ready for transplanting. We'll move on to the other field where it is uh, at a more advanced stage. Yeah, so viewers, we are here where there is a, the crop which is ready for transplanting. This one is uh, three weeks old. So here I'm removing it, taking it to where we're going to do the planting. Let me show you. This is uh, the easiest uh, way of uh, transplanting. We've gotten these, uh, these seedlings from the nursery. Now the planting is, is easily done like this. We maintain the same spacing. We maintain the same spacing of uh, 30 centimeters between lines and 15 centimeters from one plant station to the other. So the planting is, is easily done like this. It can be done in the mud or in the flood field. You easily, what you do is you easily just plant like this in the rice. So you can see, from what I'm carrying in my hands, I can cover a much bigger portion than broadcasting. That's the advantage that we mentioned. So within just a 10 kg pack of seed, you can plant a lima plus. It doesn't end here. Uh, there they is still some other practices that we still need to do here. There is uh, the weeding that's, uh, that is still coming here. Uh, after a few few weeks, weeds will start coming out. You've seen we do line planting here, so it will be easy. We engage people who come and uh, do the weeding. It's easy, they just move in lines. That will be the first weeding. Then later on, after two months, there will be the second weeding, second and final weeding. So the expected time, like uh, for the super uh, MG, the period is say uh, between uh, 110 to 120 days to do the, uh, the harvesting. So viewers, more emphasis on the spacing of uh, of the rice, the 30 centimeter that we put in between lines for easy management or weeding. Yeah, for instance, you might, uh, you might engage uh, a layman, somebody who doesn't understand really what uh, really the rice crop uh, looks like. They might end up 
removing the actual crop, the, desire, the crop that we desire and leave out the, the weeds. So there's, uh, in the beginning we mentioned the, the other methods of uh, planting, direct seeding, where you just uh, broadcast. That one has got disadvantages when it comes to the issue of uh, crop maintenance, the weeding. So in the next uh, uh, field, we're going to show you where broadcasting was done and uh, you'll be able to see the, how difficult it is to do the weeding. So this is the field where broadcasting method was used. You can even see when you bring someone who doesn't know the rice uh, crop, the way it looks like on the field, they wouldn't tell which one is the rice and which one is the weed. Then the other disadvantage is there's also wastage of seed. You, you just broadcast and there are no lines. You bring people, engage people, like us we are doing it commercial here. You engage people, they end up uh, removing the, the crop that we need and they leave out the weeds. The difference between the rice and the, the weed. So this is the weed and this is the rice. Seen there's just a slight difference from, from someone that, who doesn't know the crop. They will not be able to know which one is really the, the crop, the, the rice. So these are the weeds. These are things that we don't want in the field. You've seen how difficult it is. If they were in lines, it was going to be easy. I just move straight in the line. I remove the weeds, then I leave out the desired crop on the lines. Yeah, so this uh, method of uh, planting, we really discourage it to the would-be uh, farmers, the uh, rice farmers. This requires experts who really know how the crop uh, looks like. So these are one among us many disadvantages of uh, broadcasting method of planting. You can, as you can see, the soils are fertile. We don't add any manure to it. But there is wastage of seed, and it's not easy to do the weeding. So the weeds are even suppressing the crop. It has delayed, it was planted a month plus ago, but still it has not reached the knee high. So this is our main field, the main field for the Farm Institute. Yeah, we do, mostly we do the, the rice, rice seed crop and uh, the far end that's where we do the commercial seed which is, goes for processing they do the polishing and that's the final rice which people know in towns viewers before we go to the last stage let me make mention that there is a uh, one common uh, disease in rice production which comes because of uh, dry spells for those who grow rice where water is not controlled, where there is no irrigation facility, uh, that's a rice blast. So the control there, here we just open up the canals, we feed the fields, or if we flood the fields with water, then that's the only way we control it. There is no chemical control for, for the blast. So from now maybe I go and show you the last stage where you see the, how the, the rice seed looks like and the processed or the Polish rice looks like. Thank you. Welcome back viewers. We are now, we've reached the last stage. We've done the planting of the rice and uh, we are waiting for harvest. So just to show you how it looks like, how the rice looks like after uh, harvesting. Yeah, so this is how it looks like. After harvesting, we do the drying. After the drying, we package in the 50 kg bags. We weigh them as we wait for our customers or the seed companies to come and collect. That's for the rice seed. For the commercial, the process is uh, similar. We do the harvesting, the drying, then we package. Then uh, later on, we take to the, we take it for processing or polishing. 
Then after polishing, it comes out like this. I'm sure this, most of the people, viewers back at home, they are more familiar with this one. Yeah, this is the one now which is, which we do the cooking and the final product. Sure, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mr. Tembo, for showing us how you grow your rice here at the Namshakende Farming Training Institute. You have learned quite a lot. I'm sure even viewers there, they have learned and they will, they will implement this. Where you live uh, near the Barose flood plains, you've got a lot of water. But you said there's also another type that one can plant without having need a lot of water, isn't it? The, yeah, we have other varieties of uh, rice, like the Nerica 4, Nerica 1. People are doing the Nerica 4 which is the upland rice and is performing well. We have farmers who have no portions of land on the flat plains, mm -hmm. but they have land here okay. on the upland. They do the planting and the, the harvest is quite okay. Okay, all sure. right. Okay, so let's talk about benefits before we go. What have you benefited as an institution when it comes to growing of rice? Yeah, like I mentioned earlier when we were on the fields, mm -hmm. yeah, this is not ordinary rice we do. Most of it is uh, seed rice. Yeah, so even the, just from the price, it's very different from the commercial one. Yeah, when you move around during harvest time, people are getting a 50 kg bag and polished at around 250 to 300 kwacha. Okay. But for the seed, it's a different story. Yeah, it shoots from 650 to 1,100 kwacha. Okay. So really, we've, uh, we've benefited a lot. Yeah. With the revolving fund has really shaped up because of the, the same rice production, which is a major activity for the Farm Institute. Okay. Sure. Yeah, thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much for having me. Okay, sure. there you have it. We are talking to Mr. Tembo from the Namshakende Farm Institute here in Western Province, specifically in Mongo District. Thank you so much for watching.